In this video, you will learn how to connect your Salesforce org to Stripe. This will enable you to collect payments directly from inside Salesforce, no heavy lifting required. My name is Stacy from Chargent, and if you're a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments to be a superstar for your organization, then click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Step one, Stripe sign up. The first step to connecting Salesforce to Stripe is ensuring that you have a Stripe account. Similarly to how Salesforce has sandbox and production environments, the gateways have testing and live environments. We recommend using a test gateway environment prior to beginning to use your live gateway environment. You will not incur any credit card processing fees in the test environment and you can use the test credit cards which the gateways provide instead of using your real credit card for testing. If you do not yet have a Stripe test account, check the description of this video for a link to get signed up. Step two, Stripe secret key. Once you have your Stripe account, the next step is to obtain your secret key from Stripe because you are going to need that in Salesforce. To get your secret key from Stripe, log into Stripe and click on developers here on the left side. Then click on API keys. This is where you will find your secret key. Click on reveal test key, copy the key, and keep it handy. A quick side note, we've compiled a guide to help you reduce your accounts receivable and collections challenges in Salesforce with Chargent. Learn how Chargent can make your payments process configurable and automated, saving you time and money. Get our expert guide in the description of this video. Step three, Stripe settings. While you are logged into Stripe, there is a setting to be set within Stripe to enable you to be able to process payments from Salesforce. Let's do that now. And at the top in the search bar, type in the word integration and click enter. Here you will toggle the setting for handle card information directly. Next, click the button next to the three statements starting with I understand, then click into the drop down which appears and select the option I need to collect full credit card numbers to run my business. In the box below, type in the payments application I use replaces the card and bank account data with the token provided by Stripe during the transaction. It is also important to note that Chargent does not support Stripe micro deposits, which is a service that Stripe provides for bank account transactions. If you are going to be processing bank account payments from Salesforce with Stripe, instruct your Stripe sales representative to inactivate the micro deposit feature for your account. Step four, Salesforce setup. Now let's integrate your Salesforce or to your Stripe account. Remember that Stripe secret key? Make sure you have it handy because you are going to need that now. In Salesforce, navigate to Gateways via the Salesforce App Launcher. Click the New button here and select Yes for the question, do you have a payment gateway account? Select Stripe in the dropdown and then click Continue. Here, enter the secret key which you copied from Stripe and then click continue. You can also change the name of the gateway to any name which you prefer. You will see a green message indicating that the sign-in was successful. Next, select yes or no to whether you would like to be using tokenization. We recommend yes. Tokenization is a tool which will allow you to store tokens instead of credit card numbers and bank account numbers in Salesforce and be able to process subsequent charges to those payment sources because Stripe saves the account numbers and knows which to charge based on the token. Remember the security measures that Chargent and Salesforce have in place to keep your payments secure that I mentioned earlier? Well, this tokenization is one of them. Next, select the currency which you will accept and click continue. Click yes here to enable the payment console, which is a premium feature which is included with the platform edition subscription. Not sure if your subscription includes payment console? Reach out to the Chargent support team and we will assist you. Next, select the card types which you will accept and whether you will accept bank account payments and if so, which network is applicable for your company. The next screen will give you options for which buttons you want on the payment console for your Salesforce users. Select the buttons which apply to your use case and click continue. Not sure? Don't worry, you can come back through this gateway wizard and make changes at any time. Next, you will be asked if you will be processing recurring payments. Select yes if you plan to process recurring payments with Chargent and Salesforce, and then select the time you would like the recurring payments to be charged. As a best practice, schedule the recurring billing to occur when no other Apex are executing in your org. Chargent will be communicating back and forth with Stripe during that time, and so you wanna make sure that the communication lines are open. 
Congratulations, you have successfully configured a new gateway and you can start collecting payments in Salesforce with Stripe. It's always important to test changes before pushing them live. For more information about that, I want you to watch this video on sandbox testing now. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you to keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.